another toy from the internet. Let's open this up. This one I can read. It's English. Fragile handle with care. Just like Christmas. Oh, I think I know what this one is. More bubble wrap. Oh, but it's in pieces. Interesting. Okay, I think we're going to have to assemble this. Um, yes, this will be the base. And, oh, and we have instructions. This will be the wheel. Can you guess what it is yet? And some stuff. Yeah, that's it. Not just styrofoam. And some instructions. Okay. Yes, this is a low temperature Sterling engine. Okay, let's go assemble this. Uh, these are the three pieces that came in the box and there's absolutely no instructions on how to put it together and even the finished picture is too small to see. Well, I think I have this figured out. This goes in here. And it has to be very clean and move nicely. This is glass, this is glass, so they did a good job with it. Uh, this goes in here like this and let me see if I can do that. Probably won't be able to keep it on camera. Okay, so you get the needle bearings in place. And then what it took me, it took me a little bit to figure out that these connecting rods just go onto these, the crank, and you just push them on there and then move the crank back and forth and they'll kind of fall in place. You don't need a lot of pressure on them. In fact, I wouldn't advise putting a lot of pressure on them. Um, there, you can hear that one snap in. And one has to adjust these arms to make sure that this wheel is right between these two things. It's not rubbing. Um, and it also says to adjust the arms to make sure there's not too, mu too much friction on the needle bearings. Well, I cleaned it all up, adjusted it the best I can, and put it back on a cup of hot water. It's just... I'm near sea level, so hot water is as hot as it's going to get. It looks like it's trying, but wow. Come on, baby, go, go, go. Well, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm. I think she's going to quit on me. Yep, but that was not too bad. I guess maybe it needs some breaking in. You can hear there's just a little too much friction for my taste. Chook. Okay, so in theory it works. Let me see if there's anything we can do to tune it up. Come on, come on, go, go, go. Running faster? Maybe. Oh yeah, running faster. My guess is something's dragging. So if I can figure out what that is, that should uh, help immensely. Okay, let's see what we can do to supercharge this. This is a brand new cup of hot water, and apparently it's breaking itself in. So this is not too bad. Um, ka -ching, ka -ching, ka -ching. So that's puttering right along. I bought something else. 
Let's see if we can really make this hum. And what am I doing? I'm adding ice to the top surface because what this thing is doing is it's taking the heat from here and using the flow of heat through the device to uh, to run. I mean that's what makes it happen. It's a differential between this heat and then the outside air. So the more differential, you can hear it cranking, the more differential the faster it should run in theory until it flies apart. Oh yeah, she's flying. I don't think I'll be generating the household electricity from this, but uh, clearly it works. So how long will it run on a cup of water? Well, I started at 20 till 12. And it's now 12.30. So that's a good 50 minutes. And it looks like she's almost done, but it's pretty amazing it'll run that slowly. Okay, well that's it for today. I hope you found this useful and interesting in your home Sterling Engine experimentations.